Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we are back down. Wait, and we are just gonna be in hyper mode going forward. Like, I am past clearly the two hour point where you'd get an automatic refund. But if I was just playing this game for myself, I would be potentially considering that. Just, uh, just saying, I've I'm not found anything here that is interesting and 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 I would like to get off this train hmm. like it's possible we we now have a flashlight but nothing else by the way uh, so this new idea of doors being in darkness and disappearing probably should have been introduced before with the gun mechanics it took me a moment to recognize they were an ideal weapon for my situation. Hmm. So now we have flashbang grenades. Hmm. Of course. I we have five of those. And we'll just, I'm just gonna try and stay off the beaten path. Hmm, and you have to be a little bit quick about it. Hmm. Batteries. That's all we can get. We can turn on the radio. And here's another call. You're on KBFFM with Pat Main. It's no Hmm. Okay. So you've got to really fight a fight here. Hmm. Just try to do that as quickly as possible. But without a gun, there's... And see, why are these guys throwing... throwing axes at me when I thought they were police? I'm just wandering around hoping that I'm going the right direction hmm. flares but I guess you can now switch between flares and flash flashbangs. Trust no one in the dark. Hmm. And I guess I'm going this direction. For a short time there we were running away from uh, we were running away from light but now we're definitely just running right back to it I think I saw something this way hmm. 
Say I just need to keep enough people off my back for long enough that my health starts to refill. Although, while I'm running, it doesn't seem like it actually is refilling. Are we going back to the gas station? Or is this another gas station? It wouldn't be surprising if there was a couple of them. But destroying the darkness doesn't help. Could lend me a car to get to the coal mine. It's a radio station, it's not the gas station. Interesting. Hmm. And is there anything else here? Nope. So we'll just get into a cutscene, almost certainly. Or we'll find out it's all pre recorded and there's nobody actually here. In the middle of the night, that wouldn't be surprised. Although I think there's probably some. Nope, you can do that. You can you can totally play music in the middle of the night and not have anybody in the actual station. There is somebody. So he's gonna. Come on in, Mr. Wake. He's gonna have you talk to him. Oh, I'm so glad you could find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. Nowhere to run now, Dan Brown. You better. Dan Brown. Well, 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 everyone calm down. Put the gun down. We're all friends here, right? Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got him. What the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. So this FBI guy wants me dead. He, like, I stole his his girlfriend or something. Or he's under the influence of the darkness, but we haven't seen any evidence of that. Now it just says reach the train bowl depot. I had fallen off so many cliffs it was ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop. It was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. Hmm. He wrote a book called The Sudden Stop. But that's not We're still just dealing with flares. And sheriffs with axes. There we go. There was a game that came out recently called Dead by Daylight that had a mechanic like this where you where you could finally finally we have a gun back you could you had to turn on lights to distract a killer in the forest let's see which way should we go that way that way like we have no marker so uh, it's either this direction or this direction. Let's just see where this leads us. Walls, walls, walls. Walls hidden by... Alright, take a flashbang. Looks like this might be a path. This looks like we might be able to ape a path here. Hmm. Reach the train depot. Tell me where to go, game. It definitely feels like. Here's something. Uh. You could easily get lost and have to just uh, die and be reset in the area they want you to be in. Hmm. 
This almost this feels like an experiment in trying to direct the player in the right direction with lighting, but it's not succeeding very well. Let's see. Um, why am I turning on things? Shotgun. actually hit people. <sighs> and so where am I now? Probably shouldn't get the uh, gun. In light you can hurt them. So that seems seems like the point here. There was here. no sensible reason for the power company work lights to be here. It was almost as if they'd been left for someone like me to use. The darkness controls the taken. Seems like these things flicker off though. As soon as you do, So that was the entire shotgun amount used. For what purpose? Like, why did I go through all that fight instead of just run? Like, why am I doing any of this? I guess I found the train station. Batteries. More, more, more. They, they even have a way of putting more batteries on top of it. Interesting. So. Just go ahead and reload the shotgun with its two shots. If I could get the hunting rifle, that would be better. Time for a phone call. Hello. So. The most stubborn man I've ever met. Alice? Alice? Alan. Alan. I'm so afraid. It keeps me in the dark. Please help me. I look at you, Alan, and it's not you. It's something else. Looking out from behind hmm. your eyes. I'm here. I'm so alone here. It's all gonna go to hell. You need to be careful. Cooperate. The connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow, but she had called me. So... I could see a railway bridge up ahead, and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. So the idea is that 
there's a real and a fake Alice and Alan interaction here and and split personalities as far as Alan or at least at least split personalities if not multiple personalities the darkness that was pursuing me was growing stronger and it was taking mm. over everything in its path see all of this just feels like a metaphor of insanity Am I supposed to shoot these things? Apparently. Get off this section. This darkness is getting stronger and stronger. Hmm. And you can kind of see you were clearly as a teenager, just started to get interested in writing. Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. Mm. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story. Certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything. And it was getting closer. So the darkness is getting stronger and now we have this heavy duty flashlight. Element. And it's a train station, but it might as well just be another uh, another lumber mill yard. Look at this. Just struggling to climb up on the surface. And the darkness seems to have gone away enough that it's not controlling items anymore. Again, this feels like a a better use of the of the introductions of enemies should have been uh, the heavy duty flashlight seems to seems to take a lot of batteries but whatever it, it's it's something we needed desperately of course every single level has had us lose our, our everything at the beginning so unless we find the unless we stop doing that feels like I'm actually needing to try to go for more headshots too which is not welcome in a game like this even though I have said like in light you can hurt them it's the same thing over and over again like you technically do have a lot of time to to target compared to most games but 
I don't really want to target things. And I imagine this is just going to be another one of those Twilight Zone videos. And see, I have no idea why you would want to do the video commentary or anything, any kind of commentary in a game like this. Like, I wouldn't have wanted to go through the commentary in Bioshock if I hadn't liked Bioshock in the first place. If I hadn't had an amazingly fun time with it at the beginning, in the first run. And... Let's see. Um, this thing is trying to kill me. So... I have no idea how we're gonna fix this. But let's... See, there's all kinds of bullets. Here we go. Like, it feels like you're supposed to just run this way and open the gate and then leave. Because that's not the way. Remember, I'm playing on easy. I am playing on easy. And... I don't like to rage quit. But I've said that phrase. Now, when I say that phrase, that in drastically increases the chance of it happening. This thing just goes towards you, no matter where you are. Uh, I can pick up as many things as I want. Unless it's hitting these birds. See, inserting a battery now actually only fills my my flashlight halfway, which makes no sense. Why would you only insert one fresh battery? I guess the yellow dot in the top left is your indicator as far as which direction you're supposed to go, so you're supposed to go that way. But I'm halfway through chapter three and I just realized that the game never told you. Or if they did tell me, 
it made it not blatantly obvious enough. I have no idea how I succeeded in that fight, by the way. Let's just also be honest about that. Uh, I apparently you needed to get him to run over some people or just spend a lot of light on him or uh, do something like either it was running over people or it was putting a lot of light on them and we used the car to go into a cutscene which I thought I was just gonna drive See, the game has trained me up to this point. Been this glad to see the sunrise. When you use a, a car, you just drive mind. around. And it completely changed the rules on, on you. Pulled the rug right out from under me. The coal mine wasn't far now. Being in a coal mine is a good idea for the setting. At least it gets you out of the forest and the lumber mill and construction areas where we've been over and over again but it also kind of feels like today there's I would only meet the two and he would give me alice i wouldn't give him any other choice a drowning man will clutch at a straw hmm and we're in the light and we've lost all of our guns again this is ridiculous this is a tech demo Watch the wonderful animation and run and and look at how many trees we can get on the screen. Which, you know, nine years ago that that was very much the video game industry is is this cold war uh, of how many polygons can you get on the screen? How many trees can you animate? How well does the grass look? How many blades of grass can you actually have on the on the ground that's all that's happening here how human and realistic does the character look which but nowadays none of that's even a question you can have as many trees as would look natural in the, almost any game and they will look perfectly as realistic as any other game looks realistic i imagine even by modern times, if you skipped ahead a decade, our graphics will still look kind of cartoony and unrealistic, but that isn't isn't a big thing to be upset about. That's just progress. Uh, but yeah, there's, there's really no limiting factors. And I assume now, like, B, I forgot what the button was to, to make you, like, make your lights focus, but I guess it doesn't even matter. And there is a hitch up. This clearly is a, on an older engine game because that shouldn't have happened. We've seen a cup. We've seen like one, one of those before. Unless the darkness starts having the ability to change things on you and making it dark when it isn't, we're we're doing nothing. This is now a tech demo on look at our racing simulator. This is our driving simulation tech. Let's show off what we can do. And if this was Remedy's first game, I might excuse that and say, all right, they were experimenting with a bunch of things, but it's, it's not the case. And there's all these areas that I could potentially get out and look, but I don't see a reason too I was early I was supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building the coal mine was quiet it was a museum now <laughs> okay. 
That entire section. No gameplay. Probably some collectibles. Couldn't care. I didn't want to go outside. Cops had to be looking for me. You don't have a gun. The sun turned the place into a sauna. The day dragged on. Different scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of how I'd torture the kidnapper to get Alice back. Or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. I was running on blind hope. It was all a waste of time. The bastard never showed up. Hmm. What terrible writing. Wake, where the hell are you? Change of plans. You know where Mirror Peak is? It's a big mountain north of where you are. You follow the path from the mine, you can't miss it. There's a lookout point there. I'll be waiting. I'm through being jerked around you by you. You want to see your wife alive? Because if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? I want to hmm. talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the manuscript. Don't keep me waiting, Wake. Hello? Hello! Ah! I'm gonna kill him! I had to get to Mirror Peak. Uh, that got really dark. It was close. Maybe closer than ever before. Hmm. Apparently you can only have... 20 minutes, uh, 20... Apparently you can only have 20 batteries. And that was the way down. Which is funny, because I thought I had just entered this secret area. Alright. So our gun magically appeared. And... Darkness is everywhere. Revolver ammo. Revolver, just in case we didn't have it. Hmm. Ah! And you'd think, after all that lining up, one shot would kill him. I'm taking a lot of damage. And the idea of shooting things while they... Like the the idea of shooting things while while it's while an axe is flying at you and and getting that out of out of potential dangerous situations is not realistic. I got two flashbangs, so maybe I should be using the flares more. This heavy duty flashlight is not not good enough. It's just not good enough. Honestly, it, for playing on easy, I would have expected the the equivalent amount of damage to be done with the heavy duty flashlight. Should have been the basic flashlight. And then the the heavy duty flashlight at this point should be Destroying the darkness instantly. Well, that didn't work. Hmm. It's like open this. Apparently, that's where I'm supposed to go. Hmm. 
And do I really need to fight those things, or can I just run them? Run away from them. The concept of fighting in intangible darkness does not work in a video game. This works perfectly fine in a story. That's actually what sort of what Stephen King's it is all about is it's an intangible darkness the uh, only way to reach the hillside ahead was to go that through the takes many forms. I had to find a way to avoid electrocution. Hmm. Let's see. Find a way to avoid being electrocuted. I think the first part of that would be getting rid of these guys. And see if this was a good engine with very tight controls on your driving, this might be fun. Like I could, I could see thinking that was rather entertaining, but generally speaking, when you have something like this, and you you kind of want it to be a straight loop. So now I turn off the power instead of turning it on. Uh, you you want to be able to go in circles with it, an almost infinite number of. Uh, of shadow people. And that didn't... That didn't really work, so whatever, we'll just move on. Let's see, is this... Nope, didn't think it was. And we're just running right out of the place. It's almost like a speedrun at this point, and I like watching other people play speedruns. I've never tried any of it myself and don't think I probably would. Let's see. Hmm. But just... Just avoiding all of the actual elements of the story here to move forward as quickly as possible. And it doesn't bother me one bit if I missed a manuscript or two because, like, that probably just means I'm set for the bad ending, but you probably were already set for the bad ending because you're playing on easy and you can only collect some of them. Uh, trying to hit the red thing that's behind them and I missed multiple times or I didn't hit it quite the way it needed to be hit. Trust no one in the dark, thanks. Like, same messages used over and over again. It stops being valuable information and it just starts, it just becomes repetitive graffiti. Follow that way. Well, let's get this coffee thermos. You would think that maybe the coffee thermos would give you more life. Uh, that would be how I would do it in a game like this. Is as you collect more collectibles, three coffee thermoses gives you a small percentage of more life, or just one coffee thermos alone gives you more life. Uh, that way you're rewarded for 
You were awarded for being a thorough player. But nope, none of that. Not one bit of that happens in this game. You can collect the coffee thermoses if you want, but even if it was a case where at the end of the game if you collected them all you would there was be no immortal. way the flashbang grenades were standard power company equipment hmm. is it necessary to have to hit those i guess not or just Wow, it takes even more than two batteries. And it almost seems like you could just go right back to this area. But that's not where they want you to go, obviously. Let's try this. I guess as you're targeting people, you can just reload your gun with the other hand. I think that was probably a smart move. Although I'm out of flare guns now. My health is at half and I'm not running right now. So I'm trying to see what causes your health to slowly creep up. It's clearly on a exponential scale where you stay. You have a lot more health at the, at the end than you do at the beginning of the bar. That's a pretty typical video game trick to do but like I walked through an area and it it went up a quarter and then it's it's not smoothly filling up it's just kind of maybe it's based by the number of steps you take that'd be weird just continuously walk in a circle and you'll Clearly they want us to start using flashbangs and I'll, I'll take them up on that offer. Um, but this isn't where I'm supposed to go. Go and we'll just jump down and hope that it doesn't kill us. Oh, seriously, seriously, game. Hmm. So you don't even have to do that fight. You you are introducing yourself to fights by picking up the collectibles. Or in this case, not even collectibles. Well, uh, you, by picking up the flashbangs. So I could get maybe three flashbangs and then have to use one or two. And see, pressing B, he's just trying to pick it up. Let's just see if that kills us. Nope. Alright. I'm 
more revolver ammo reached more shotgun ammo so we can reload that we don't have any of this hmm and clearly there's something we're gonna do there and there and we're working our way towards that little moss to the light so maybe moss will become an enemy at some point how are we on missing pages there's still a considerable number of them but I also wonder if maybe I'm just just walked past them all like if somebody told me all three of these pages I just missed and these I just missed and there's only these left I'd believe them that that is believable and it's taking so long to get through these levels that if I've missed seven manuscript pages of the 106 I would be at halfway through the game and oh boy do I not want to be at halfway through the game I want to be a lot further uh, similarly with the coffee thermoses pyramid cans we probably missed three or four of them chest found 10 of 30 I wouldn't be surprised if we missed a couple of those uh, TV radio stations and TV were right at that halfway point signs found we've only found two of 25 so i'm not really sure what the signs even are and then i think alarm clocks cardboard standees and night uh and night springs video games are all in the dlc which i don't even know how you access that if it's not just here's a, another episode at the end well, that's it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want a friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.